Hi. So today we're going to try to tackle summer chores. Uh, we have, if you've ever been around before, you long know that we've done the marble system as a way of just maintaining some peace around here when everybody's home for the summer. And the kids have sort of outgrown just the simple behavior management technique. So we're now moving into chores and allowances and the wild west of that territory. So we've converted our marble jars and our marble system to a chore system. So what I have done is on the outside of everybody's marble jar, they each have a little checklist of things that they must do every day. Put their clothes in their hamper, make sure their shoes are put away and their toys are put away and their beds made, stuff like that. And these are just sort of everyday must-dos in order to be able to live here rent-free. <laughs> I don't want them competing over who's doing the most to make money and I don't want them to think that everything they do around here is simply to get an allowance. I want them to know they're part of this household and there's things they need to do that are beyond uh, allowance worthy. So this is stuff they have to do every single day and at the end of every day they need to go through their checklist and if everything is complete they get to give themselves a little marble in their jar. So in order to get their allowance at the end of the week they must have seven marbles in the jar. If they don't none of the other stuff counts. So then we have two other sets of chores. We have regular chores that they're gonna have in their jar. They're just cut up into little strips. Uh, things like help with dinner, clean out the dishwasher, stuff like that. Those are just regular chores that they'll have in their marble jar and we'll just rotate them throughout the week. And those are the things that technically they get their allowance for. So they'll be doing those all week and part of the chore is that I don't have to remind them to do the chore. So they're gonna check their jars, see what their chores are that week and work on those every day. And then we have what we call diamond chores, which are things like um, help in the yard, uh, empty the dehumidifier, like kind of the, some of the tougher jobs. And those they get to get a little marble that's shaped like a diamond when they do those. And those we have come up with a little extra monetary value if they do those and they don't have to. They're extras, they can choose them if they want. Right now they all have about three marble chores in their jar. I imagine as the summer goes on that's going to wane a little bit, but the excitement and enthusiasm is still high. So they have those in there. So we have sort of three sets of chores, ones that they have to do every single day just because we get we let them live here, uh, ones that are weekly and rotating and will be on strips of paper in their, in their um, jar every week, and then ones that they can choose if they want from the envelope as just something extra to do. Maybe they're trying to save up for something they want, and they choose those extra monetary ones to work on. The other thing that we have, and I'll get into in another video because it's a lot of extra thing, is when they get their allowance, we're going to work a little bit on money management techniques. And we have a save envelope, a spend envelope, and a, uh, that's my, his charity of choice, a charity envelope. And my son's charity of choice is our church. So we have that, and I'll address that later, how we're going to deal with that. But I'm really trying to use this summer to teach them not only household stuff, but also how to take care of their money. So there you go. There's our marble jars all grown up into chore jars. Hope it helps. Bye.